There's the recording. Happy August 1st. What the frick? How is it August? <laughs> like, I don't know what's happening, but I'm, I have to be honest, I'm very excited for August because I don't know about you, but I feel like the last few months have been chaos and absolutely crazy. Um, we all feel, feel like came up of a high off of Summit. Even those of you who didn't go, like there were so many announcements and it was just crazy. And there's overwhelm with that. And then there's, you know, all of our individual goals and then team stuff. And it's just like a lot. So I feel like August is going to be a little bit of a breather in the complication of things. Like I feel like things have kind of been a little bit complicated as we all navigate through um, what our business looks like and what we want it to be and all the things. Um, I think it's going to be a little bit of like a little bit less complicated, but I am excited for the momentum that's going to happen. So um, I'm going to dive right in because I am really excited and I don't know if this will resonate. I know it's going to resonate with some of you, but I don't know if you saw, but our theme for August is going to be unapologetic August. And, um, it's been, it, I, I was going to do it August of abundance and like have that be our theme. But honestly, if in reflecting yesterday and some of my conversations I've had with some of you, but also outside of coaching, I feel like fear right now and, um, worrying of perception is holding a lot of us back. It's holding a lot of you back and it used to hold me back until I finally got to a place where I, I have so much conviction. Liam, you're killing my vibe. <laughs> I have um, so much conviction in what I do and what I have to offer. And I know that it will change people's lives if they actually do it, that I don't, a lot of that doesn't hinder me anymore. And it's not just with like, inviting people to a challenge group, but it's coaching. And I've had kind of a shift myself of recognizing that coaching is truly the most life-changing tool that we have to offer people. And it's the scariest one and the one that most people struggle with. And so um, you guys all on this call know me well enough to know that I don't, I don't lean away. Like I don't step back from that kind of stuff. I lean into it. What? Yes. Okay. Yes, go play with your dinosaurs in the fountain. Go play with your dinosaurs in the fountain. Please, thank you. Sorry. Um, anyways, and so I wanted to kick off this month. I'm gonna, I have a few announcements I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make, and then I have some really awesome questions that I want to ask you guys, and I want you to, I would love you to, like, interact with me in this um, and kind of share your thoughts and your feelings and your struggles in this area. So first of all, um, I want to make sure that everyone knows about August stuff going on. <clears throat> I want to, where is my, oh gosh, there we go. I wanted to give a sh huge shout out to our two Pregos, Amy and Dee, for hitting Success Club this month. You guys, killing it. So proud of you. You're going to be receiving a little fun thing in the mail from me just because it's just really fun. And then I know a lot of you also got on the board. And if I'm, I think, I don't know if I'm missing anyone. So the reports have been a little bit slow and it literally was today so if anyone else did lock it in please tell me right now so I'm not leaving you out because that's lame um but I also wanted to shout out everyone who at least helped one person so Sarah congratulations shout out for helping two um Amanda Lane Christina Freeman JC Richie my hubby uh Lexi it was cool to see you on there Lexi Haley Bloom Courtney Muzio Kristen, Haley McCoy, and Ashley Mogger, so proud of you guys, and it's really cool to come together and um, be helping people together. So along those lines is one of our announcements, which I, I hope everybody saw that promo codes are back for August. So excited, which means that you should have gotten an email today, and if you didn't, you need to reach out to Code Relations with three promo codes. And I want to remind those of you who have a spouse account that you can use his promo codes as well 
to build your account. And I know I, I said that wrong um, when, we, when they first came out because I was told wrong. But um, I also know other coaches who have discount coaches who have no desire to run the business, but they have an active account. Every single coach who has an active status receives free promo codes. So it's also a really cool way to tell your coaches like, hey, this is like a referral link. It gives people $10 off and you get a commission. Like you have nothing to lose. You might as well like share it. It's like people sharing Amazon links or the iHerb link. Like most people don't know except for probably Carmen what that is. <laughs> but um, of, like ordering supplements is like, hey, you get $10 off your first order. Like that would be awesome, right? So it kind of takes the fear away that so many people have of inviting people to join. Um, so make sure that you know about that. For those of you who have not signed up your spouse yet, if you're married, um, if you do sign up your spouse, you can, I was actually just sent Amy a message about this. You use your promo code to sign them up. So you get it $10 off and then they, every new coach this month and I believe in September will also receive three promo codes. So it's just a really cool way to help people get like be successful off the bat get their challenge pack mostly paid for right off the bat and um start seeing that momentum and the most successful people in their journey are the people who have people around them doing it with them it becomes more fun can someone use more than one code no i think what you mean is like can someone use two different codes to be twenty dollars off no you can only use one um if you meant something different, then let me know. Okay, so um, MM100 is $20 off still this month for completion and challenge pack. So you reach out to your Beachbody On Demand subscribers. If you guys don't know how to do that, go into your customers and look at the um, subscription report. And it will tell you who's a Beachbody On Demand subscriber. And maybe, and it will also tell you if they have a subscription to Shakeology or any of the other nutritionals. This is a newer development, so I didn't know about it until recently. And what you can do is check all your Beachbody On Demand subscribers and send them an email from your back office. And say, hey, I just want to let you know this program is freaking amazing, perfect for busy people, and it's really fun. Um, if you'd like to join our team and doing it together and add some accountability, We'd love to have you. Let me know if you want some options. Um, that is something I want to make sure you guys all know that you can do that. If you have questions of how, post it in our leadership page so that we can everyone can learn from it. Recover is $10 off this month. And the three-day refresh kits are 10% off. So really emphasize, and those of you who are using a form, I've, I rarely ever just recommended challenge pack for people after they fill my form out because pretty much everyone wants a three day refresh. So it's an added 10% off, but it's over 50% off this month when you add it to a challenge pack with a coach account, just so everybody knows. Um, when you hit success club, you get a bobblehead. So I mean, motivation, you get a Jericho bobblehead. We had a Joel one and Logan was barely two, I think, when, when those came out, and it was his baby, and he carried baby Joel everywhere, and then he broke his leg, and he still carried him everywhere, and it was, like, real, I told Joel Freeman that when I met him, and he was, like, and he looked down at his legs, because he really does, like, swole on top pencil legs, and he was, like, it's kind of like real life, and I'm, like, yeah. <laughs> anyways, funny story. Um, so the bobblehead. Okay, and then these are really fun things. I can't believe I did not bring my calendar out I, with me. Um, we are, I'm joining Dana, and we're doing a diamond push group this month, which is going to be so fun. So it's to push to diamond and beyond. So for those of you who are already diamond, all of you are wanting to be one or two star by the end of the year to go to new leader conference. So you need to be in this too. It would be for you to grow your spouse account to diamond. And I really like that her and I, everyone does this differently, but we are, are very similar in keeping it simple and taking that. It's not going to be about learning all the things. It's, excuse me. It's 
going to be about taking action to make it happen. So um, it's a goal to do it within 30 days, and everyone can do it. Oh, my gosh. Hey, stop. No, no, that's your brother. I'm going to put you in timeout. We're not going to plant the flowers. I need you to be a good boy. That's your brother's. You have a bajillion. Okay. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, yes. Argus. Oh my. Go. Go sit down. Go sit down. Yes, the three day fresh 10% off for August 19th through 26th. Um, all of August. Unless you know something that I don't. But in the um in the coach insider it was all of August. Okay, so Diamond Push Group, more to come about that, but I am really excited about that. And I think that there's gonna be a push pot um where you pay like ten dollars or something and everyone who hits it gets to divide the pot at the end. And I'm pretty sure she led one before and nobody hit it. And so they have four hundred dollars sitting that she's going to bring into this group and and let anyone who else who wants to participate participate so but the potential payout is quite large which is super fun i mean if you're not going to do it for a bobblehead maybe for a hundred dollars <laughs> um but a few of you are super 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 close so i think this will be really cool um this month i'm not doing the um business webinars on sun every sunday anymore i'm we're gonna try and switch it up i'm gonna do them twice this month and how i'm gonna set them up is they're gonna be on wednesdays um i'm working on our calendar right now i should have it done by tonight but i'm gonna do them on so the 7th and the 21st and then the next monday which would be the 11th and the 25th, we're doing something new for new coaches. And this is open for all of you. How many of you feel insecure about how to get a new coach started or what to tell them or how to like help them be successful? Am I the only one? Maybe I'm the only one and you guys are a bunch of rock stars and you haven't shared with me. <laughs> okay, so um, I feel in our day and age, People are so busy, and I set up the Vimify two-week coach training, but nobody has time for that, and you, you lose people's attention, and we lose their excitement, and so this month on the Mondays that I told you about, I'm going to be doing a new coach action training, and within that one, it'll probably be ended up being like an hour and a half. We're doing going. We're actually doing things. So everyone is going to write their new coach posts, like their coming out posts, and we're gonna. I'm gonna guide them through. Don't just say like I'm a beach body coach with a stock image of Shakeology, because you will get no one interested in what you're doing, and you'll probably lose people. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna share people how to share their story and why they're starting and what they're doing. So we're gonna literally write the post on the call. Everyone's gonna post it. Then we're going to invite their first five people on the call. Everyone's inviting five people. Then I'm going to, I'm not sure if everybody saw the, um, the document that I, I put in our, in our leadership page of how to literally my steps that I go through to go from prospect to new challenger or new coach. Did you guys see that? It was like what I do when someone says I want more information and I take them through it's, I posted exactly what I say, and then I link my form, and then exact my exact process of how I build the share cart, and then how I send the email, and then how I text message them afterwards. And so on that call, every new coach is going to set up their assessment form, and they're going to have the email template and save it to their Google Drive. And so they're going to know after they send these five invites exactly what to do when someone's like, sure, I'd like more information. Because all of us have word vomited all over everyone in our first people that's like, and they're like, sure, I'd like more information. And you're like, words, like, I don't know what to, I don't know how to talk. 
um, challenge packs and then Shakeology and then this is the best deal and then there's a coach membership but then there's a fee with it but you get a discount and so I'm really excited and then you know like we all I did it as well so I want to help avoid that and teach new coaches from the beginning how simple the steps can be so there's no guessing in that so um, by the end of that call they there will be no like so much fear is going to be out the door because you would have already invited to the challenge group. They're going to know exactly what challenge group to invite to. And then they're going to know when the next um, business coaching webinar is to invite people to, too. So I'm excited about that. Even those of you who maybe have been a part of our team for a while, but you haven't really started your business and you want to do that with us, you are more than welcome to join. Um, I'm excited about those. I think that'll be good. And then from that point, the coach trainings, it's going to be like our clinicals in nursing school. We're diving them in to a power hour, and we're going to start having more team power hours. For those of you who've been around for a while, I want some of you to lead them. So, um, like Megan and Naomi and Sarah and Dee, I would love for you guys to lead, and Carmen, I would love for you guys to lead one. And I know that you're probably like, I have no idea what that is, which is fine. There's literally like a step, like a checklist, um, but I think it'd be a cool opportunity. So anyways, that's kind of what's coming, what's coming this month as far as changes go and opportunities. And now that I've spent 20 minutes talking about that, Naomi's emojis here. We're going to dive in. Okay. So um, I, a lot of times spend time in reflection as to why something works for me and it's, and it's a struggle for other people because I never, ever, the reason why I do all of this and I work really hard to provide resources is because my fulfillment comes from you being successful. And so if I'm not teaching or communicating something accurately, I'm not and my, I feel like I'm not doing my job right. And this is one of the things that I've learned is not common throughout our entire organization, not just our team, but like, and it's the confidence and the unwavering belief that what we do changes lives. And I'm not sorry about it. And, um, which is why I'm excited about to focus on this this month. And it's not just in your business, but in your life. So I want you to ask yourself a couple, a couple questions. If you stripped all the fear aside, like fear of what people will think of you, fear of rejection, fear of what people will say, fear that people will think you're a part of a scam, fear that people, no! whatever, excuse me, would you be living differently? Would you be acting differently? Would you be inviting more people? Would you be posting differently? And then on a personal level, oh my goodness, would you, even down to like, would you communicate in your marriage differently? Would you share your faith more? Like on things that are important to you, aside from our business, if you were to live unapologetically in alignment with the best version of yourself, I think we all could say that we'd probably be doing things a little bit differently. And that realization to me is so powerful because at the end of the day, like, what are we doing? Caring about what a stranger thinks on Instagram? Why? Why are we doing that? But, but we do, right? That's why we hesitate to talk about coaching. That's where, why a lot of people hesitate to talk about their faith and incorporate that into what they do because of possibly offending people. And if you guys, I know not everybody knows me well, but like that, I, I have no, I feel like we need more people to stand up for what's right and to live uh, courageously. And so that's my challenge for everybody today is to live courageously. So specific to our job though, if the fear was stripped away, I want you guys to ask yourself, how would your social media feed be different? Because some of this could be that you're not far enough along in your journey yet to really understand and believe that this could be life changing because maybe it hasn't been for you yet and that's okay. But if that's the case, then I, 
then I want to challenge you to go read some testimonials. Stop it. Um, go sit in your car on like the Beachbody On Demand blog or like just Google Beachbody testimonials. Watch the videos of the finalists from the Beachbody Challenge. It has changed their life. And I use this all the time and I will always repeat it, but the stories I've heard of the people who have not committed suicide because of a Beachbody coach, there are so many and that's just the people who have spoken up because those people were living courageously. And so in my head, if fear of what strangers may think or even fear of what our family may think or our loved ones may think, it's preventing me from sharing my this gift, someone else is out there praying for me and potentially gonna end their life because I'm not speaking up. And in my perspective, why I live the way I do, then that's selfish of me. And it, so it's for you guys. I want everyone, everything motivates people a little bit differently. And making an impact in the world really like drives me to do crazy things. <laughs> and so that really motivates me to get out of my own way. Like, don't get me wrong. Like a lot of this has, was very hard for me too. I remember my first live video. I was sitting in my living room with my laptop sweating. I don't even think like it was the spring and my, my, um, AC was on and I was like clammy and sweating and I remember there was a glare in my face and the, excuse me the lighting was bad and like it is I've never been this like natural but it's because I've probably done 300 videos <laughs> at this point um but I've learned along the way that if something scares me I have a rule for myself that I have to do it and it there's so much growth and like liberation with that and um, so when you're thinking about your invites, right? Because inviting people is the only way to grow your business. It's the only way to help people, really. But everybody struggles with it, especially in the beginning. Okay, okay, that's fine. Please put that away. <clears throat> if you were to live unapologetically of what, what you do, how would your invites be different? Would they be different? Yeah. Would you talking to more people, or would you be approaching it differently? No, nobody. You can say yes, no. Jessica, I don't know if this is happening for everybody else, but you keep freezing, yeah, and it's like freezing. garbled, and I can't. Oh, I'm not no. catching everything you're saying. <laughs> You should have told me. Okay, let me see. Let me see if I can switch my internet. Maybe I'm closer to my house. Is this any better yet? Maybe. Like maybe. It's hard to tell. I'll tell you if you freeze again. <laughs> guys, so you all are like, I have no idea what she's saying. <laughs> I told you all that you won a million dollars. I want to know if you wanted it, and nobody answered. <laughs> Is this better? Yet? It would be, it would be good for a little while, then all of a sudden it just freeze. <laughs> Is this okay for right now? Uh, it seems no. better. Yeah. So weird. My dog's gonna drive me absolutely nuts right here. Let me sit in my kitchen. Thank you for telling me. Yeah. You're like, why is nobody answering? <laughs> no. I'm like, no. I thought I thought this was no. Okay. <laughs> okay, so hopefully this works better. Rewind. <laughs> is this better? I think so. What is happening? Okay, I'm gonna try and then if not, see you guys are slow on my end, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to try to keep going, but just tell me if it doesn't work. Oh my gosh, now my okay. Go down the side. Go down the side. Liam's planking on the ground. This is perfect. Okay, so my question was, if you were truly, if you stripped all the fear aside, any insecurity, any doubt of what people would think, would your invites look differently? Would you do you think that you would talk to more people or you would invite people to what you're doing differently? 
Is it still not working? It's working. No, it's working okay. Um, I think, I think my invites, listening. like I'm not scared like with my inviting anymore and like what I have to say. Um, so that wouldn't change, but I think my social media feed would show coaching and like what I'm doing a whole lot more. I think that that would change. Okay. Awesome. And this will totally look different for everybody. So D out of curiosity right now about how many people would you say that you invite a week ish on average? Uh, probably like between 60 and 70. Okay. But that's mostly to challenge groups, not to coaching. Okay. Awesome. Um, okay. So the same question would go for coaching. I know Naomi, you just said, you would be so much better if you're being pushy with coaching. So here's the cool thing that, that happens with these, because I think we all fear that, because not, all of us are in here for the right reasons, right? We want to make an impact and we want to help people. And we fear people misconstruing our enthusiasm for all to be the same as a lot of the other network marketing people who've messed it up or done it wrong, right? We don't want to be in the same pool. We are different. And there are other awesome network marketing companies out there and that's not me saying bad about them i mean some of them are horrible oh my gosh children some of them are horrible but here's how we're different and the people that we're looking for are passionate about health and fitness or about getting healthy themselves you have to have that and naomi let me ask you hat and i know i don't know if you can talk or not but um has coaching been like a burden for you or has it changed your life more than anything? No, it's definitely like improved my life so much more. I just have a hard time like articulating that, I guess, correctly. So I just don't do it at all. <laughs> okay. So here's where you start. Coaching has changed my life. <laughs> that's how you say it. And, and I think that's why we complicate things. If you had no fear, how would you communicate the things that we do and the things we have to offer? This has changed my life, or this has changed my friend's life, or this has changed Gwenda's life, and I'm really excited to be a part of it. Um, if, if I felt that way, I never would have mentioned it to you, and then your life wouldn't have changed. And this is how, in a, in a different perspective, it's selfish of us to not sh give people the opportunity. We don't get to make up other people's minds about what we're doing and I, and we do that all the time we not only do that in our invites but we do that in our follow-ups we get in our head that if i'm following listen i need you to be quiet that's okay we get in our head that following up with people is annoying them that's on us that's not on them nobody has told you you're annoying me stop talking to me has anyone had that message? I know Naomi's gotten weird ones. Like, you're ruining the world of network marketing. You are why I can't be successful in my business, which is, like, honestly, I wish I got those messages because then I'd be like, bye, block. I'm not wasting any more breath on you, right? But unfortunately, we don't get those. What do we get all the time? Ghosted. People don't respond. We take offense to that a lot of times and think like, I can't believe they didn't have the decency to at least respond to me the last five messages that I sent. Guess how many times on the seventh message I've had someone tell me, thank you so much for not giving up on me. My daughter was diagnosed with cancer. Or just recently, my daughter was, going, was diagnosed with tuberculosis. We've been back and forth from Stanford for the last nine months, but I really need this and I wanna work with you. Thank you for following up. It just happened again. Um, with someone else who was like, I just really struggle with belief in my ability to follow through and, and do something. So thank you for not giving up on me. That's what following up is. It's not bugging people. So we've got to like, let go. That's a, that's a fear. You are apologizing. You're being um, apologetic in the way that you're living your life. When your mission is so clear that I am every month going to help as many people as possible live a healthier and more fulfilling life. Nothing can stop me. 
with no fear, right? I don't care what people think. If people think that I am, but I am um, salesy, that's on them. That's not on me because that's not my heart. Now, if you're message, cold messaging people and being like, you need to buy this challenge pack, help me reach my goals. I will probably slap you guys in the face. <laughs> like, that's not what we do. That's not how we message people. It's more of like, hey, I saw you watching my stories. Thanks so much for the support. Um, I hope they've been helpful for you. I'm not sure if you saw, but I'm running this really awesome women's accountability group, and we're doing this workout together. I think you'd absolutely love it. Would you have any, like, would you like any more information? If not, no big deal. That is not salesy. And that message, you literally could copy and paste to 50 people in a day and it would take you 30 to 60 minutes. But if your passion, your clarity of, of helping truly making an impact and truly making a difference in people's lives isn't there, you're not going to do that because you are going to get stuck in what if people think I'm salesy? What if I already followed up with this person? What if this person's already working with the Beachbody coach? What if this person has no desire to do what I'm doing? What if this person is doing a different whatever, drinking another shake? What if this person asked me a question I don't know? And then we don't ever do anything. Has anyone been stuck there? Like you can raise your hand. Thank you, Carmen. <laughs> and, um, and so I think that so much of this can be shifted literally tonight. Granted, it, you're going to slip into bad habits because that is the nature of habits, right? We always, we will always second guess ourselves until we really overcome something. I have second guessed myself in different areas. Um, this is just something that I've gotten much stronger in because of where I'm at and because of, oh my gosh, the bajillions of conversations I've had over three and a half years that now I have no fear of doing it. That's like anything. The more you do it, the less fear that you have. Um, so one of the other questions I want to ask you is if you, had, if you had no fear, no fear of failing, no fear of, again, what people would think if they knew that you were part of a network marketing company in fitness how could you that is a pyramid scheme and I'm like Gwenda what's a pyramid scheme like please explain to me because you don't know what it is and she's like oh no it's shaped like a pyramid I'm like so is the grocery store if you pay attention so is the hospital if you pay attention so is every single organization if you pay attention there's like a, like at the prison and the nursing, like in my, where I worked, there's a director of nursing and then there's nursing supervisors and then there's registered nurses and then there's the LVNs and there's the CNAs and it like, it's a pyramid. It's just exactly the same. The benefit of our business is everyone's their own boss. And so I can promote above Liz if I wanted to, and I worked hard enough and long enough. Nobody controls me. I am my own boss. I get to be as creative as I want in this business. You guys do not do thing, need to do things the way that I do, just like I do not run my business the same way Liz does because I want something different. My personality is different. Network marketing has the, has the most self-made millionaires and billionaires in the world than any, any other industry. That's something to pay attention to. There is so much freedom in what we do. Our company focuses on back end residual income to set you up to work less and make more money if you build it right in the long run. All these little things, um, it took me a while to learn and, I'm, and I know you guys probably don't know them, but let me challenge you this month that whatever area you feel most insecure about, lean into it. I didn't know that stuff until I made the decision that teaching about coaching scares the crap out of me because I don't, I don't feel like I know enough so this month I'm going to make videos and I'm just, I'm going to literally look on YouTube for how do you get to Emerald in 24 hours? And then I'm going to duplicate it. And then I'm going to look at videos of how do you make $500? Like I need to understand in my brain how to teach someone to make $500 in their first month. I'm going to learn myself. I'm going to look at the commission that I make on most challenge, most common challenge packs. I'm going to add it up. And then I'm going to go on, make a video on Zoom by myself and teach people 
and upload it to YouTube. And that's why I now have so many people coming from YouTube because I've made all those resources. But the most valuable thing was my confidence in it because I started to believe and understand why this business model is so genius. It's way smarter than entrepreneurship <laughs> on its own. Like we have minimal zero head. If zero head, that's not a word. Overhead. <laughs> um, if you were to buy the most expensive challenge pack at like $350, even let's say $400, first of all, you're getting a crap ton of product that you get to benefit from. But could you imagine starting a six figure business and only having to pay $400? That's nothing. And I'm, I am friends with a, so many, I'm saying a bajillion a lot tonight. It's dramatic. I'm friends with so many entrepreneurs. And for any of you who know business owners, it takes so much time and effort and consistency and money to start up your own business. And we don't have to do that. Like we're a facilitator between the client and the professional who created the fitness programs and created the nutrition programs and the scientists who created the products that are at our high standard. We're the facilitator. That's all that we do as coaches. We don't need to overcomplicate it more than that. We get to, we get to be the magic juice that, that makes people successful because you guys all know that you can know all the things, but if you don't do them, it doesn't mean anything like anything in life, right? You all have a million dollar business at your fingertips, but if we don't actually work to grow and learn and share, then it's not going to do anything. And then for other people, they are making a million dollars a year from home or Costa Rica, <laughs> you know, but it requires that consistency. The last thing that I, that that reminded me of that I want to share and then I'd love to open it up if you guys have any specific questions about this is um, one of the new perspectives that I'm going to be sharing with new coaches is to think of this as like you're getting your bachelor's degree. So I went to nursing school and it ended up being about $100,000 over four years. But people go to get, even if it, like, it was a private school, but if people go and spend 50 grand, let's say, on their bachelor's degree or in four years, no one blinks an eye everyone thinks that you're awesome right even if you're getting it like i don't want to use a degree example because i don't want to offend anyone but like i was gonna say even let's say you're getting a degree of your bachelor's in in underwater basket weaving right you're getting this degree that people are like good for you why do people do that because they feel like at the end of their bachelor's they will have a good job that's stable usually I got into nursing because I wanted to help people and it is a good stable job. And so that's considered in society an honorable and noble thing to do. But for four years, I spent a, so much money and I exhausted myself. My health suffered horribly. And during those four years, I never expected to get anything back. Like I had side jobs to survive, but like I never expected to get anything back. I knew I had to show up to class. I knew I had to show up to take the test. I knew I had to learn. I knew I had to perform, but I didn't expect my reward until after those four years. If people came into coaching with that mentality, I'm investing $200 to start this business. I don't expect much back for four years and I will show up consistently every day or Monday through Friday and I'll do it when it gets hard and I'll stay up late when I need to. And I'm doing this because of the end result. You guys, it would be insanely successful for those people. It's our perspective of what we're doing and people expect to get rich quick. They expect it to be easy. They expect everyone to like them. They expect no rejection. They expect everyone to answer their emails. And that's why so many people quit in their first year because it's not reality. And I want to make sure that everybody knows that. But if you stick it out, like here I am, not even at the four-year mark, and we make between six and $7,000 a month. And I'm working from home and I work my ass off. Don't get me wrong. I won't lie to you, but it's not any harder than working as a nurse. It's not like I get to actually be present and I have my own hours and flexibility and I love what I do because you guys are amazing. You know, so this, I could go on and on about that, but I, I just really love that um, perspective and 
I want to share that with you guys so you can share that. That could be a that could be a post for you guys. You don't have to be successful. Like you don't have to be where you want to be to tell the other people do this with me. Let's grow a business together. Let's earn our free vacations together. How cool would that be? Those are the kind of people that you want to build business with. Okay. Any feedback, questions, struggles, positive takeaways? Can I share a win? Yes. <laughs> um, because I took off a couple of months, I wasn't really paying it, tracking how, like, I was before, but I wasn't this year very well tracking how much money I was making. Um, and normally I like put it in a savings account and I use it for like flights to go visit my family and things like that. And so today I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get on track. I need to like get back into like, you know, doing all the stuff that I used to do. And so I was hoping that I could have made enough money to cover the baby furniture that my husband and I purchased um, this week for baby girl. And so I was adding it all up and I made three times as much to oh pay for the gosh. baby furniture in like, since like that period of time where I wasn't like tracking it. And again, it's like, what, like, I just wasn't expecting it to be that much, but it's also like almost nothing compared to like what a paycheck used to be like for me working like in a month's time. But to think like, oh, I was just like doing this because I'm passionate about it and I really care about people and I care about growing my team and helping other people. And then to realize like, oh my gosh, like the effect of that, like, overpaid for my baby furniture and I can also put it towards you know another flight to see my parents and stuff like that like I just realized other people like could really use that money that I made too like it doesn't have to be this like six figure thing where you're like okay you could be successful like I know a lot of people that could use help buying baby furniture <laughs> or whatever it is so it was just very like a little bit more eye-opening for me realizing like if I can like share that with other people and they'd be stoked you know like it doesn't have to be some crazy amount of money I totally agree that's so powerful thank you so much for sharing are you gonna do a post about it yes <laughs> <laughs> I'm like are you gonna do a post about it <laughs> yeah I think because those are the things people relate to like Danielle Natoni for those of you who have heard her story her favorite part of my story and she makes so much money now is the, the beginning when she could fill her gas tank and flip the I, I tell it all the time like flip the little holder thing on the gas pump so that she didn't have to like watch it to make sure it only did five dollars that she could afford from the change in her car like her first beach body check was a full tank of gas and she was like, I am high on life. <laughs> um, so thank you for sharing that. I, I agree. That's, that's so powerful and relatable. So cool. Anyone else? Any questions, any struggles? This is the time to talk it out because it helps everybody. Any fears that you want some like specific perspective or help on that's holding you back? Or is everyone friggin' fearless now and gonna live unapologetically? Go ahead, Carmen. I think I'm just, I get really lost. Like there's so much information that comes, that, that, that that's like my biggest thing right now. Like my organization is just like really, really bad. So if I get like overwhelmed and too much information, I never know what to start with. And then I get super lost in it. And then I don't do anything. I get very paralyzed because I'm like, uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't know what to do right now. Okay. So that's where I'm like. Yeah. And I think that's something everyone could probably relate to at some level because there is a lot of information in this business and our team because one of my goals is for you guys to, to always have a resource for something but that becomes overwhelming so I, I totally hear and get where you're at and I know that other people felt the yeah. exact same way yeah. so I'm glad that you shared that and I would say make it your goal this month to simplify everything make it make sense yeah. in your brain because really what we do is very simple we invite people into our challenge groups and help them get results and then we invite people into coaching and help them change their life financially and through, you know, helping more people. 
that's really what it comes down to for you this month. Like you are so close, close to diamond. Like all you've got Carmen, Megan, Amy, D and Naomi. And then Sarah almost at one start. You guys are like on the brink of huge things. And if you can keep it simple and focus on the excitement piece, that's really all that you need to do. Is there something specific that's overwhelming, like a specific topic or? I think right now, just because there's so much going on in my life and I'm coming out of like my depression slash anxiety life right now, like I'm finally like, I can see straight again and I can, I'm starting to be able to multitask again and I'm starting to be able to like do things. So I'm, I'm almost like myself again in the way that I'm like, Ooh, butterfly, let's chase that. And I'm like, Oh, I'm going to do that. And then I'm like, Oh, that's a great idea. Let me go over here and do that. And then I'm just like, then I have like 12 things going on at once. And I'm like, okay, none of this is working. And this is like how I used to live life. And I'm like, this is amazing because I feel again, but <laughs> I'm still now everything. And then, and then I'm like, okay, well, which one is most important right now? So I just need to figure out like the, I mean, honestly, because I'm, I'm two people away from diamond. Is that correct? Yeah. You're, you are, you have your four and four. So you just need, you're literally two half emeralds away. Okay. That's what I thought. So um, there's one on my right side and one on my left side. Okay, perfect. I was going to ask you that. So like, that's my main focus right now is those two coaches, like helping them and making sure that they are, you know, at least for now. And then like trying not to be too crazy hard on myself when it comes to like, if I forget, like just kind of whatever I'm doing that day, like being intentional about you know, at least staying on board and being like, this is what's happening today. Or if I see somebody share something, I'm like, it doesn't really matter right now that I'm copying and pasting this. It's like, I just need people to know that it's happening mm -hmm. and that I'm still here. So yeah, that feels more comfortable and I don't beat myself up and I'm way more, like I have way more grace for myself um, with that. And I'm also starting to read again, which is good. Um, girl, wash your face. So I've, I'm on like chapter four of that. And I'm like, that's the first time I've read a book since like my dad was even diagnosed, which was like, oh, you wow. know, it's been awesome. now, so that's you. Yeah. That's a win in itself. For sure. Very proud of you. Good things are happening. And I would say like, always don't forget that all of you can use me and like three way calls with coaches who are interested and in maybe growing the business or whatever. Um, always, you can always do that. And I would also say w this comes down to helping those two people and just getting excited and inviting people into your virtual wellness community that you have set up now. Yes. And that can be the that's verbiage kind of for all of you. That can be the verbiage uh, that you use, like do this program with us, check in. I get a lot of, I get a lot of people telling me that like, you know, they don't use like social media. So it's like, they're like, Oh, I'm never even on Facebook. And like, that's where the group is. And it's like, I'm never even on there. I don't, I have, I don't even have notifications for that. So I'm kind of like, and I am like, I'm mainly Instagram. Facebook is not really like something. And I'm always like on there now, just in that little group. But like Instagram is my main thing. But I do get a lot of people telling me, oh, I'm just, I'm not on there. There's too much information. Like, like the same thing for me. Like, I kind of get overwhelmed with things. I'm like meeting that same with anybody that I'm talking to. So for so. those of you who it would be helpful for, because I have the Vimify membership, you guys are always more than welcome if you have those people to say, well, we have a larger community that's on a third party app that's not on social media. And you can add them to that if you need to, if that would be helpful. Um, okay. So that's always an option. And then you can always just get creative. My son is naked. I don't know why he does these things. Um, and some people have done like an Instagram team page, which that sounds overwhelming to me because I have no idea what that looked like. But um, that's an option too.
Okay. Um, okay, really quick as we wrap up, Amy had said, I need help explaining how to get two coaches to Emerald. I have two in mind I think could do it, and I feel like I can't explain it. I have a video that is how to get to Emerald in 24 hours, and there's a couple different ways you can go about it. It just depends on what these people are interested in. So no problem, D. Good night. Um, so if, if most people are intrigued by the thought of getting their challenge pack paid back like getting it paid for. And so you just keep it so simple and you tell them find, I'd say three, find, good job. Find three people to get started just like you did. Who are the first three people you can think of? Usually it should be like their spouse if they're married, their spouse, their mom, their sister, or their two best friends and their spouse. Because what happens is that when you, if you have any desire to grow this business, potentially when you sign your spouse up first, then you have two revenue streams and you can never get that spot back. So it's like prime real estate. Cause when you look at it geographically, I think that's the word. Um, so like now, Amy, excuse me, go ahead and drink it. It's tea. When you sign up your husband now, he's going to be below the volume of all of the people you've ever signed up. Whereas, okay, go outside. I'm almost done. Go outside. You need, you need to share. You need to share. If you would have signed him up first and kept him there, then all the people you sign up after would have added to his volume. And so, and you would have been paid twice from your business account and from his, from the volume, which you don't, you don't need to say all that. I'm just explaining that for you. So, um, anyways, I always keep it simple of, Find three people to sign up just how you did, just like you did. Who are the who are three people that you can think of right now? Off the top of your head, reach out to them. Um, yeah, go ahead, Carmen. Outside, three people per month, right? Is that like the goal? Three people per month helps you get to pay your shakes for, or is it? Because I feel right, right? Yes, but I start. You, like you have to start in square one with people. Otherwise they get in their head and they're like, I can't do three people per month. I don't know that many people, but really you do. Exactly. It's just starting. Okay. So that's what, that was kind of my thing. Cause I'm like, okay, three people. Well, I did that. <laughs> and I'm like, and my shakes are not being paid for. So then I'm like, wait a minute. That's so right. now I'm kind of like, okay. So the bar, the reason why success club is a thing is because it's I don't understand sub sub. I mean, I know you've explained it to me like 400 times. So here's 401 next time, but everyone, I don't understand. Everyone to understand this. Success Club is the minimum bar for you to m actually make an income and order products. So if you're ordering Shakeology, you will not make an income after you deduct your Shakeology and, unless you're helping at least three people get started each month. Does that make sense? Um, and that's with a challenge pack. I'm just going to say with a challenge pack. So you get two success club points for every new person you get signed up with a challenge pack or with the Shakeology home direct order. I never do just Shakeology because in my opinion, it's a waste of money, it's not a waste of money, but you pay, especially with the coupon codes, it's $20 to get MM100 and a year of Beachbody on demand with your Shakeology. So it doesn't make sense to me for people to not buy a challenge pack. So to hit success club every single month, what do I need to do? Sign up three people with a challenge pack. To hit success club every month, I need three people with a challenge pack. Yes. That I can remember. Yes. But my okay. goal for everybody is five. Okay. It just depends on how fast you want to grow your business. But okay. um, the success club, uh, prizes and recognition kind of changed since I started. You used to get more incentives for hitting Success Club 10, which is five people, whereas Success Club 5 is three people. Oh my gosh. I'm almost done, I promise. Um, <laughs> so does that help everybody? Like that's your, I would say like your minimum you're, if you're really wanting to grow this business and make an impact, your minimum goal is five people a month, but really your mentality should be to help as many people as possible. Yes. Yeah. Any other questions?
Uh, Amy, did that help? Um, but I would go, what you can send that video that I'll find it and I'll put it in our, oh, I'll put it in our leadership page of how to get to Emerald in 24 hours. Because honestly, the sooner you tell people that, the easier it is for them to do it. It's the longer people wait, the, the harder and more complicated in, in their head that they get about it. So, especially this month, use the promo codes. Even people who sign up just for the discount, tell them, that's how I signed up. I told Liz, I do not want to coach. I just want the discount. And all she told me was, that's no problem. Here's how you sign someone up if someone wants to do this with you. But we should be doing that. And I was like, oh, four people within two days. Okay. <laughs> and she's like, who are you? <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, um, so yeah, use those promo codes to, to let people know. Like, send these out to people. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for coming up. We surpass i'm pretty sure our hour yeah go ahead carmen can we get a picture oh my gosh a lot of people on here. oh my gosh my kids my kids and my dog like there's a lot of people on here there is. i know i forgot before d it's okay i'm recording it at least okay mm -hmm. somebody take a boomerang <laughs> nom, nom, nom. who's taking the boomerang <laughs> I can take a boomerang. Okay, you take a boomerang. What did I just do? Oh, there it is. Okay. Are we ready? One, two, three. We didn't move. <laughs> Me and Megan did. <laughs> Want me to do it again? Do it again. Well, no, everybody, no, everybody moved ahead and stuff. I saw it. Okay. It's cute. Okay. Okay, cool. Oh, gosh. My, <laughs> Ian's in the back of there. It's all good. It's good. <laughs> all right, bye, guys. Let's go live unapologetically. Change some lives. All right, getting cheesy. Okay, bye.